Evaluate the expression for x equals 3, y equals negative 2, and z equals negative 4. The first thing I'm going to do is substitute the values for each variable in our expression. So we still got the negative sign out front, fraction bar, the numerator we have 2 times x, x is 3 so we have 2 times 3, plus y cubed, y is negative 2, so negative 2 cubed, in the denominator we have y, or negative 2, plus 2 times z, which is negative 4. Now first we're going to work on the numerator and then we'll work on the denominator. In our numerator we have 2 times 3 plus negative 2 cubed. We'll do the exponents first. Negative 2 cubed is the same as negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 gives us a positive 4 times negative 2. It gives us a negative 8. And then 2 times 3 gives us 6. So this becomes 6 plus negative 8. 6 plus negative 8 gives us negative 2. So that's our new numerator. In our denominator, remember this whole fraction is negative. Just a note here, we got to make sure we put that negative sign back. Denominator, we have negative 2 plus 2 times negative 4. 2 times negative 4 gives us negative 8, so we have negative 2 plus negative 8, which gives us negative 10. So that's our new denominator. Now, negative 2 over negative 10, we're dividing a negative number by a negative number, so these ultimately cancel but the negative out in front makes the entire fraction negative. So it is still a negative fraction, but we can simplify because 10 and 2 are both divisible by 2, leaving us with 1 fifth. So our final answer is negative 1 fifth.